Yes, welcome back to Why in the Morning. It's time for Strength of a Woman and special thanks to Hilda with Ethi and Joy Mushashi for breaking views. It's always starting our day on a laughing note every single Wednesday at that particular time. Be sure to tune in next week. And if you have a video that you think might break the views, weird, amazing, funny, I just send it away on Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on Instagram, and Y254 on Facebook. And our Strength of a Woman of the Day, the name is, uh, is a tongue twister. Ne? Neha. Neha. <laughs> All right, Nea is a set designer uh, and uh, she's heavily involved in film and you're about to know the person behind all these films that have been trending in the country. Karibu sana. Thank you so much. All right, so there's a drill I always follow. Your camera is number four. Introduce yourself. I give people a chance to introduce themselves because uh, some people <laughs> tend to have very long CVs and credentials. Uh -huh. Okay, so my name is Neha Manoj uh -huh. and I'm a production designer and also a director. So I've recently directed a short film. Uh -huh. So I direct short films, but uh -huh. on bigger sets, I am a production designer or I work mainly in the production design department. Uh -huh. yeah. All right, so you work with a production team. So uh, films, the, I'm interested in the films that you don't direct, the films uh -huh. that... Uh, you do set design for. Do you get the script first? Yes. You get the script first, yes. obviously? Yes. Uh, um, and you need to approve uh, this script is lit or this script is... <laughs> is, is, is <laughs> uh, no, but uh, what we do is read the scripts, mm -hmm. break it down, mm -hmm. and if there are any questions, we can direct them to the writer or the director mm -hmm. or kind of give suggestions that, mm -hmm. you know, being, let's say, for Supermodo, it mm -hmm. was... It was very dark towards the end, so mm -hmm. we would give some suggestions on how we could, you know, bring that emotion out through mm -hmm. the sets. All right. Yes. I want to take you back a little bit uh, to your schooling. How did you get to this point? How did you get to be a set <laughs> designer uh, in film and a film director? What did you have to study in school? Maybe? Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so I, d I loved art. Mm -hmm. Art was my first priority during school mm -hmm. here. And so I joined Fine Arts mm -hmm. at Loughborough University mm -hmm. and I was introduced to film. So mm -hmm. there was like a class for film and I was like, you know what, this mm -hmm. is it. It has to be film. Mm -hmm. And from then on, it's nev I've never looked back. All right, had you picked up a camera before? Yes. Before you went to school? Yes. What were you using the camera for? Uh, photography. Photography most yes. of the time. All right, uh, whose pictures were you taking? Was it a photo studio or just fun things you were doing? Uh, events mm -hmm. and uh, wildlife. Uh, events and wildlife. Yes. You're passionate about wildlife. Yes, my dad's a wildlife photographer. All right, so we are soon <laughs> to see a film about wildlife. Um, no, not at the moment. No. All right, so you got it from your daddy. You got it from school as well. Yes. All right, uh, supermodel. Yes. Really trended in this country. People yes. People are really fascinated by this film. How did you participate in it first? So I was, uh, I applied for the workshop with One Fine Day. Mm -hmm. And from then on, um, I don't know, we, I just became the production designer. So I was the mm -hmm. head of the department mm -hmm. for Supermodo. Mm -hmm. And head uh, of the department. Too. Yes. All right. So uh, according to the script, it's a, it's a really deep story, if you look at it uh, in depth. All right, because it's a superhero uh, movie. But there's a story behind the superhero. Right. All right. Uh, maybe you can start with, by telling us the story behind this. Hit. So it's about a young girl mm -hmm. called Jo, mm -hmm. and she has cancer, mm -hmm. and she's she doesn't have much uh, time to live. Mm -hmm. So the mom took her out of the hospital and took her mm -hmm. back to the to her home, mm -hmm. and it's her her journey how she spends the last few weeks. Mm -hmm. And f she was always interested in superheroes mm -hmm. uh, from, from the start. So she wanted to make a movie about her being a superhero. Mm -hmm. And it's really, how do you say, intertwined mm -hmm. that she herself becomes a superhero to mm -hmm. all the villagers as well. Mm -hmm. Because she, superheroes don't, you know, they live forever, they don't die. Mm -hmm. And that's how, you know, she became immortalized uh -huh. let's say yeah all right so, so it's a it's it's a deep story it's something kids are going through around here but it was scripted in a way to make it entertaining yes 
All right. Uh, so traditionally, we know superhero movies are made in Hollywood, and some in Bollywood, maybe, and some, <laughs> <laughs> and some, uh, some in Uganda as well. Have you seen the ones in Uganda? Yes, I <laughs> love right. them. The Spider Man. Was you it the Spider Man? Yes, <laughs> yeah. I think so. All right. Um, were you scared that you were not going to maybe achieve the standard that you have in your head before getting into it? Uh, no, there it was. Are some complexities that come with uh, superhero movies. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, not in the beginning. In the beginning, it was exciting. Mm -hmm. And then while we were building so we had three different sets mm -hmm. um, so while we were shooting one I was you know we had a team kind of erecting the other one mm -hmm. and kind of wrapping the last one mm -hmm. so that was a bit um, scary mm -hmm. <laughs> trying to make sure that everything was done on time mm -hmm. uh, we had great mentors I had Lorica and Uli who were mentoring us mm -hmm. through through the the supermoto film mm -hmm. So I was, so they were like, um, they were there. So mm -hmm. anytime I felt that I was not sure about something, you mm -hmm. know, they kind of stepped in and kind mm -hmm. of guided All right. me. Uh, I'm sorry, excuse my ignorance, but who are these guys? So Uli, Uli's done um, a lot of films. Mm -hmm. Perfume, mm -hmm. um, then there was Cloud Atlas. Mm -hmm. He's uh, the production designer for that. Mm -hmm. So he's a, he's a German guy. Mm -hmm. And uh, through one fine day, he was mm -hmm. brought here to mm -hmm. mentor us. All right. Uh, did you know him before this film? Were I you knew following on his work in general? No, but yeah. it, like, I love the films. Like, mm -hmm. Perfume was like... Oh, so when he mentioned <laughs> the films, you... I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> 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 this is him. Right. Yes. <laughs> you don't look like this time to get starstruck. Uh, but uh, it's funny how... Uh, we see the lead in the film, we get starstruck, but she gets starstruck by the person who did the design. The sets, uh, yes. The oh sets my god, that. yes. All right. <laughs> very interesting. I'm interested in Rafiki as well. Uh, Rafiki was very controversial yes. in Kenya, uh, but it won awards uh, abroad. Uh, so uh, maybe you can tell us your experience first in working in Rafiki. It was amazing. It was, yeah. um, I think, working on Rafiki just kind of, it was like a step up mm -hmm. to my experience in filmmaking. Mm -hmm. Working with Wanuri was her vision. I was just impressed mm -hmm. that you could actually have this vision and we actually produced it. Mm -hmm. You know, I was, I mean, when I saw the film, I was like, oh my God, did we mm -hmm. do this? Uh -huh. It was just beautifully done, beautifully mm -hmm. written. And yeah, the crew were amazing. They were very professional. Had you worked with Wanuri before? No. This was the first time. Yes. And you guys made magic. For sure. <laughs> you have yes. to watch the film. Be sure to check out the film. It's called Rafiki. Uh, but uh, did you guys anticipate the feedback or the energy that you got from uh, a number of Kenyans or a section of Kenyans? Not really. I uh, think you when never saw no, this coming. it's weird because when I get the script, uh -huh. I, you fall in love with the story mm -hmm. and then you just want to make it. You want to uh -huh. make this story come to life. Mm -hmm. And while we're just doing it, it's always about, yeah, how can we do justice to the story? Mm -hmm. But I've never thought about the reaction. Mm -hmm. I've never actually, you oh, know. You never so it was, so right. when everything came out, I was like, mm -hmm. oh, okay, yeah. Then you remember <laughs> you're, you're living in Kenya, and uh, this is how Kenya is sometimes. I, right. I live in Kenya. People are really open-minded. People are really open-minded. The ones I've experienced, uh -huh. yes. So when I was reading all this and people were talking, I was like, no, this, this is weird. This is not something, you know, I'm living through. All right. Uh, so we have the, a section of the film uh, set. So my director is going to play it for us. And then we are going to pick something from the film. Okay. Yes. Let's see. <laughs> Kuna moja 
Jaki czarna kamłanka tam mnie szasza One by one ma dżangi loka Kudzia design je Ksz, ksz, ksz Aka kuniła karofaka Pasta mahinia Sasanie Uj, aj, aj Yo ingine utaniambia lini? Kesho. Una feel poco a home. Mix. Me sa ni promise kid. Sa sa la sta ni dizi posters, but a pair me best chango. Palewa hosi. Yes, that is Supermodel right there. Uh -huh. And maybe you can tell them how they can get to watch Supermodel. Ah, mm -hmm. Supermodel is on Showmax. Mm -hmm. So is Katikati, One Fine Day. I think mm -hmm. there are about six films. Mm -hmm. um, sorry, in RB Half Life. There are six films by One Fine Day, mm -hmm. all on Showmax. All right. Thank you very much. Be sure to tune in to Kenyan content, support Kenyan content, and uh, enjoy Kenyan content, not even support. I'm really interested in all this the set design thing yeah so if you get a script say uh, that is a Kenyan story uh, that kid is in her bedroom right there right mm -hmm. uh, it's an African child uh, the, there's a way Kenyans set up their houses depending on class the middle class design their houses mm -hmm. in a certain way uh, the the lower class might design their houses in a certain way how do you get into that zone to know this is our Kenyan household looks like do you visit some houses or something i know what a kenyan household right, looks like. but I, I get your point but maybe <laughs> indians design their houses differently interior design for indians is different uh, from uh, black true Kenyans. but i'm also uh -huh. kenyan all right so you've been to these houses uh yes but right. i also <laughs> am a kenyan so right, i know I how these point. houses are uh -huh. um also we do a lot of research uh -huh. um so as much as we i know what the houses look like mm -hmm. Uh, so, for example, um, Joe's room, played mm -hmm. by Stacy, mm -hmm. her room was very specific, mm -hmm. you know, um, because she was always into heroes. Mm -hmm. So the whole walls, you know, all the way to the ceiling mm -hmm. was covered in posters. Uh, so I yes. could see, I could tell. All right, so uh, these are ideas that you come up with mm -hmm. in the process. Nice one. Uh -huh. So this is the first time you shot a film in a film. This was a film in a film. Yes. Mm -hmm. That was experience. Like. Oh my god, that was <laughs> it got confusing at times. Uh -huh. um, so of course there was the film which the audience watched, mm -hmm. and then there was the film that Joe was making mm -hmm. about you know being a hero itself. Mm -hmm. So for example, because we just saw her room, so within the film the room was different. So we changed uh, a couple of things like the the color, the blankets, mm -hmm. so we could differentiate if it was. The film the within film. the film, mm -hmm. or was it the film itself? <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so a case uh, study. Recently, we saw a, a Starbucks cup in uh, in the in the Game of Thrones. Uh, we have seen uh, bottled water in films that are set in the 18th century. So mistakes do happen in these sets. Yes. All right. Have you ever made a mistake <laughs> before? Touch with no. <laughs> <laughs> All no. right. So, if mistakes were to happen, what is the next step to do? The beauty is mm -hmm. there is like take two, take three, take uh -huh. four. So we could always slowly remove the water bottle if need be. 
if need be. Yeah, but we usually have somebody called uh, a standby guy or mm -hmm. person, standby props mm -hmm. on set. So they make sure, because I know sometimes what happens is when we're changing the lighting or mm -hmm. we're changing stuff, people kind of just leave water bottles, which I don't like. Mm -hmm. I like the set to be a set. Mm -hmm. um, so, but there are times that that happens. But mm -hmm. this person's job is to make sure that before we roll, mm -hmm. he or she double checks the set. All right. Yeah. The different kinds of uh, media content, apart from movies, uh, the music videos, the adverts, are these things you're in, are, are these things that you are interested in? Yes, so I have also worked in mm -hmm. adverts as well. Adverts as well. Yes. What about music videos? Oh, uh, not yet. Not yet? Yeah. Uh, are you interested in working in a music yeah, video? Yeah, I have these pretty awesome ideas. Uh -huh. um, just waiting for a producer or a director to just, you know, come give me a shout and mm -hmm. let magic happen. Let the magic happen. Yes. Uh, let's take it uh, to the future right here. Uh, this is Why in the Morning. Please remember to interact with us on White 54 channel on Twitter, White 54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White 54 on Facebook. Don't forget the hashtag Strength of a Woman. Don't forget the hashtag Queen's Wednesday. And never ever forget to tell us where you're watching us from. So you have a film that is coming. Yes. Uh -huh. It premieres uh, on which date? On the 7th, Friday, 7th June. Mm hmm yeah. This Friday, the 7th June. Yes, uh, not this Friday, next Friday. Next Friday, 7th <laughs> yes. June. Yes, yeah. you rushed a little bit. <laughs> All right, this Friday is, is 30th. Uh, May. 30th May, <laughs> <laughs> and then Saturday is the Madaragini. Yes. All right, so 7th June on Friday, you'll be premiering the film. Where Do you have a location and time? Yes, so mm -hmm. it's uh, at Prestige Cinema. Mm -hmm. It's part of the Nairobi Film Fest. Mm -hmm. And also the docu the docu box short short shorts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, so maybe you can tell us something about this film. Is it yes. a short film? Yes, it's a short film. It's uh, about ten mm -hmm. minutes. It's directed long. by you. Yeah. It's Set written, designed by you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> written and directed by me. Uh -huh. um, so it's you know I I f I like that even though I'm a production designer mm -hmm. by profession, I also write on the side. Mm -hmm. And DocuBox loved the story mm -hmm. I had submitted, and so they had funded for mm -hmm. my film to be produced. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so um, it's about um, a recently blind girl who mm -hmm. ventures to the outside world, and she learns to be independent through an unforeseen friendship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so that's <laughs> wonderful story. It's right a, it's um, <laughs> you kind of go into, um, cause it's really the the amount of people who are becoming blind is mm -hmm. at an alarming rate, mm -hmm. and a lot of us just kind of ignore them, you mm -hmm. know, because they're blind, they're stupid, but they're mm -hmm. not. Mm -hmm. And this kind of this film takes us into into what it's like to be blind, you know? Mm -hmm. She could see first, mm -hmm. and now she's just become blind. So it's mm -hmm. all that frustrations, her clumsiness, mm -hmm. and how, you Learning know, to live with it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and also listening, because now your ears become your eyes. Your eyes. Yeah. You have to use your other senses. Yeah, so it's a all very, right. I wouldn't say sensual film, but it's a sensual film. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to cry at the end of the film? I don't know. <laughs> uh, is it meant for us to cry? <laughs> anyway, uh, so maybe you can tell them the venue again and the time. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so the film is called Love Sweet Sound. Mm -hmm. It's premiering on the Friday, 7th June mm -hmm. at Prestige Cinema at 5 o'clock. Please buy your tickets early because I have a feeling that they are getting booked really quickly uh, all right it's going yeah. to get sold out this is really hot in the street so be sure to get your ticket how much is the ticket again i, I think it's 600 it's 600 yes. 600 yeah <laughs> it's, it's good enough for uh, for, for 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 a film yeah so mm. there's 11 short films mm -hmm. bunched together and wow. yeah so they're all kenyan films mm -hmm. so this this is good to see what um, only one is by you yes all right the rest uh, the rest uh, the 10 are by other kenyan filmmakers yes Wonderful. All right. So uh, as we come to the end of this, uh, you are the first set designer I've met, to be honest. Oh, I meet wow. doctors every day. I meet <laughs> teachers every day. So this is an industry that is, uh, I don't know. I don't know which word to use. It. It's not really exploited in the country yes. as much. Right. Yes. What are the challenges you're facing in being in this industry right now? Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so can I talk about the challenges I felt? 
I faced while pr producing my short film. Give it all to them. <laughs> Give it all to them. The challenges you faced while producing your short film, the challenges you face in general, the challenges you face uh, you faced uh, while studying. Give it all to them. Whatever you want to give. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the first was like the licenses mm -hmm. to shoot are hella expensive. Number one, Governor Mike <laughs> Mbovi Sonko. I hope you hear this. <laughs> all right. The, the NCC license and the KFCB license were mm -hmm. very expensive. I mm -hmm. think they took most of our funding. Mm -hmm. uh, in a way, I would like it not to be this expensive mm -hmm. so that a lot of um, films can be created. A mm -hmm. lot of people can be expressive mm -hmm. and shoot. Mm -hmm. That was one. Um, the second, which I'm super happy about, mm -hmm. the private sector are really supportive in mm -hmm. films. I was really surprised by this. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm really happy. Mm -hmm. So um, that is a good thing. That, that is, is not an a challenge. amazing mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't think uh, a lot of people supported us because, mm -hmm. you know, our industry is not, well, we don't even have an industry per se. Yet. We're still building it, mm -hmm. yeah. So when, you know, we had a, a lot of people sponsoring us mm -hmm. and helping us, I was just like, wow, mm -hmm. you know, this is great, mm -hmm. support us. And they were like, yeah, sure, what do you need? What can we give you? And I was like, wait, wait, what did you just say? <laughs> I was ready to fight and, uh, you know, uh, push it. But <laughs> <laughs> I only really didn't go extra with what you needed. All yeah. Right. All right, well, uh, on to the, another challenge now. Ah, uh, mm. the other challenge. Because we need to solve these problems, you know, while we go and save this industry. I think... I think the other challenge would be people, please watch Kenyan content. Please come to cinemas. Um, For some reason, I knew you were going to say that, <laughs> and I wanted you to say that. And be sure to check out the film next Friday on 7th at the Sari Center. Prestige Cinema. A, pr a prestige cinema, right? <laughs> a prestige cinema, rather. Uh, be sure to watch 11 K Kenyan short films. Yes. For 600. Yes. Bargain. Doesn't get better than that. Alright, <laughs> how can they find you on social media? But before you tell them your social media handles, in this age of Instagram and Facebook and, and YouTube and everything, are these things uh, supporting your, your industry first before we can carry on? Uh, we get a lot of, a lot of exposure, mm -hmm. but that doesn't support us. Mm -hmm. uh, support would be great when the money starts coming mm -hmm. in. Exposure does not pay the bills. No, it All does right. not. <laughs> All right, and in this era of Instagram and Facebook, are you like uh, tailoring your content to fit these platforms sometimes? No. Not really. You're just sticking to the script and doing film. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't explored the internet channels <laughs> <laughs> as yet. <laughs> but they can still find your internet channels. Yes. All right, share that with them. <laughs> so um, the production company I usually work with mm. is Seventh Ivory. So you can find them on Instagram and Facebook. My personal channel on Instagram is B underscore with underscore love. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have B with love. <laughs> so it's B love like the insect. Thing. <laughs> right, that was a beautiful thing. Thank you very much for coming through. I appreciate you. Thank you and so keep much. Doing, keep, keep flying the Kenyan flag high. Yes. All right. Definitely. We have come to the end of strength of a woman. And uh, yes, it's amazing. It's beautiful. <laughs> I have to do that. All right. All right. We can do it together. <laughs> we can do it together. All right. You've come to the end of strength of a woman. And uh, yes, it doesn't get better than this. Be sure to watch her film at the Prestige Cinema this, uh, on Friday the 7th only for 600 shilling, shillings alongside other Kenyan short films. I go by the name of Bai Moses or it's Bai Moses on every social media platform. Uh, don't go nowhere, don't type that dial. Val is coming up next with Girl Stock. It's a hot, hot topic, you don't want to miss it.